the Global Dressage Forum North America, the ultimate educational experience where champions meet. What I always think about is, you know, when we changed, when we change in the test every four years, it is not to um, torture the riders and the horses so that they now have to all, they have memorized and trained all their tests and now they have to do it all over again in the different patterns. But it is really that every year we go through the tests, we find little tiny loopholes when we see the riders working and showing in front of us, and we then realize, you know, maybe this is not so rider friendly, and maybe this is a little bit more rider friendly, or this maybe was too difficult for this particular level, uh, maybe for this particular test, and maybe we should move it into another test. So. The reason is, is is that we want to make sure that the basics in the training of the horse and riders are very really precise from beginning to end. Every single test, what we, what we put together on paper, is very really a, pro, uh, a prerequisite to become the Grand Prix horse we want to eventually have. So every one of the movements has a little piece of the next test. And then that particular test has a little piece of the next one. So like where we put the simple changes may be the flying changes. Where we do the down and up and up and down transition, we may later on have that flying change when we do the canter work and come back to collection, then that is a change aid. So it, it, there is, there is a, a reason for the madness of changing the test once in a while around and just to make sure that the basics of the horses and riders are really clear from beginning to end. Um, some of the levels have changed a little more than others, but the training level really has changed very little. But we took away the stretching circle. One, two, I'm gone. Hello. We took away the, we took away the stretching circle out of the training level test one, Gone. Can you can you hear Lilo? They can hear you. Okay, mm. I'm just, just speak loud. <laughs> we we changed the training level test only slightly, but uh, then the first level test we changed a little bit, changed a little bit more, due to the fact that we realized that uh, uh, some of the leg heel exercises were maybe a slightly bit too difficult from the beginning to the end, but then we made progression. We had a little longer lake here now in one of the tests. Now we have, then we removed the circles between the lake here and the one test so that there is a little bit more of a smooth feeling of going from side to side. But also what we did in first level, which was not there, we stressed, we stressed a little bit the word straightness. So that whole riders really from the beginning already kind of focus on straightness because it's important when you look at the training scale, of course, you know, straightness is there before collection. So we don't want to wait until second level to mention straightness because second level already has a degree of collection. So we should have a little bit straightness already involved in the first level. We also talked about, you know, that the turn and bending suppleness in the levels already a little bit sooner so that riders know that a corner is written and the horse has to be a little bit supple before they can go really truly go to the corners. So there is a reason why we change some of the wordings. The purpose of the test on top of the sheet always indicates what, is, what we uh, think is required in that level. The directives on the side are the ones we changed a lot and not that we changed what was already said, but we, 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 we mention a little more, clarify a little more to the riders what the judges really are looking for. So I would suggest make sure that you read the directives a little. Because in a lot of programs, when I go through, I ask the rider, do you know the directives for the shoulder in? And they're kind of looking at me with a blank look in their eyes, and they go, uh, uh, bending? Yeah, yeah, sure. Is there any more? So it is important that uh, riders kind of know a little bit the directives for the movements, because 
that makes the movement be your friend, not your enemy, because you know what that is required. You know what that shoulder in means to you. So it, it helps you. So it is very important to know these directives. Uh, then, you know, as I said, through the levels we have all, I'm not going to into the every level what has changed now because we're going to the level with horse and rider. But the bottom scores now, of course, the general marks on the bottom, you know full well now, we have not any more six movements down there. We have now only five. And which one did we take away? We didn't take away any, really. We just relocated it. So the harmony score, which was the sixth score on the bottom, is now back into submission. Because that really was where it was before when we had only four. But we tried to... Uh, it was thought of if we separate them a little, so then the riders will think more of the harmony, you know, of the ride itself. But what happened was is it really does belong into submission and we put it back into that submission score because without some willing working relationship between horse and rider. Dressageclinic.com is an educational website that allows you to enter the world of dressage training through videos of top-seated international dressage trainers, riders, and lecturers. Experience the mastery of some of the world's top trainers from the privacy of your own virtual ringside seat as they guide you through all facets of dressage discipline, sharing their valuable insights and instructions. The upcoming new video section is updated each month to provide you with information on the latest training videos to be showcased on the site. The special features section gives you easy access to the training videos that are currently available online, while the search training section allows you to find videos based on a wide variety of categories. Membership to DressageClinic.com provides you with instant access to an international array of recognized trainers from the United States, Canada, Germany, Holland, Belgium, Spain, and many other countries, each sharing their knowledge on a wide variety of educational and informative subjects. The Global Dressage Forum North America, the ultimate educational experience where champions meet.